this section we're going to look at exponential functions what's the exponent exponential function exponential function is when you have a known variable that you're looking for is on the exponent or on a power so your exponential look like this where the unknown value that you're looking for will be on the exponent right so when we're looking at example one, they want you to tell uh, whether or not the given function is an exponential function. So when we're looking at example A, we have y equals to 3x where your x unknown is on the base. We call this as base. So in this case, it's not going to be exponentials. What about b? Is this exponentials? Where is your unknown um, variable x? Your x is right here. This is again on the base. So that's not exponentials. What about next one? Where is unknown variable? Your unknown variable is on the power. That's when you call exponential. So this is yes. So the the last one, it's going to be also yes, because your exponential is right there. I mean, your unknown variable is on the exponential. Um, let's look at example two. Example two is asking you to tell what is base. So your base is going to be the bottom of your exponents. So in this case, your base is going to be 3. In this one, your base is going to be 4. Not negative 4, it will be 4. Why? Because your exponent, it's only applying to 4, not the sign. The next one, your base is going to be negative 7. Why? Because you have a parenthesis. So this exponent is applying to negative 7, not, the, not just number. Uh, what about example 3? Example 3, they want you to evaluate. So they want you to get familiar with exponentials. How does that work, right? So if you have y equals to 3x, they want you to replace x with 4. So what does that mean? You know that uh, exponents means you're going to multiply your base number that many times. So you're multiplying 3, 4 times. That's 9 times 9, which is 81. What about the next one? You have y equals 2, negative 2, 4 to the 3 over 2 exponent. So what does 3 over 2 exponents mean? Um, you need to remember if you have a fraction exponent that the numerator is going to be a power, but the denominator is going to be your radical index. So let me give you the format here. So if you have um, a to the n, over m exponents, this is same as m roots of a to the n's exponents. Or you can write the power after by uh, putting outside. Right? So again, the numerator will be power, denominator will be index of the radical. So that means when you're rewriting this, you have negative 2 times um, that will be square root of 4 and I know I can reduce this 2 so let me use the power outside. So that's negative 2 2 cube. So that's negative 2. 2 cube is going to be 8. And negative 2 times 8 
is negative 16. Let's look at two more. What about if you have y equals to 3 times 2 to the 3x exponents and the x exponent we need to replace by 1 third. So then I'm going to do it on the side. On the power itself, exponent itself, you have 3 times 1 over 3. We know that's going to be equals to 1 because 3 on the numerator and 3 on the denominator cancel out each other, right? When it's multiplications. So that's going to be equals to 1. Which means it's basically you're multiplying 3 times 2, 6. What about if you have y equal to times 4 to the negative instead of x will be 2. What does the negative exponents mean? So when you have a negative exponent, you want it to get rid of that negative sign first. And when you're getting rid of negative signs, you need to flip the base. So let me give you an example on the side. Let's say if you have a to the negative n's exponents, this become, when you just get rid of negative exponent, it will become 1 over a to the n's exponent. So negative exponents will flip the, uh, the base. If the base was on the denominator, when you're trying to get rid of that negative exponents, it become numerator. So, so that's how you can think whenever you wanted to get rid of negative exponent. If it was on the numerator, it become denominator. If it was on denominator, it will be on the numerator. So this one, 4 over 1, it's on the numerator. So it become 1 over 4 squared. Just getting rid of the negative by itself. Now we can apply the square. So we'll give you 16. And this is equals 2. This is multiplication where 2 is same as 2 over 1. And you can say that 2 goes into 16 8 times. So y is equals 2, 1 over 8. 